If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle on Kennedy Square. Jim Micko and Sons, 347 East Washington Street in Newcastle, can service a lot of your lawn equipment. It's jimmickoandsons.com, their website, and you can email them at jimmickoandsons at verizon.net, their phone number, 724-652-6911. Proud sponsors of Community Television in Newcastle. Good morning, Newcastle. Welcome to NCTV45's Newswatch Morning Hopefully you have that first cup of coffee. And let's get to the top stories today in Newcastle, PA. Hello and a very pleasant good evening and welcome to, yeah, you got it, Newswatch, where uh, we try to keep you informed, whether it's morning, noon, or night. Uh, currently... 68 degrees in Newcastle and um, all throughout Lawrence County. What a spectacular day and we'll get to Four Brothers 45 weather right after we take a look at these stories of the evening. I had uh, a pleasant, a very pleasant experience today while interviewing an author of a book and uh, what a great, great atmosphere. She had a book signing at the Confluence, and now we're going to take a break, and, uh, well, we're going to go right to the Confluence and pick up the story. Hello, folks, and here we are with... Betty Derizio. Betty. And, Betty, how are you today? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. There you go. Now, Betty wrote this book, Stage and Screen, and um, why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Betty? It's a history of all of the theaters in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, from for both stage and screen, as it says. Uh, it goes back to as early as the early 1800s and entertainment here. And it goes through the silver screen and all of the... Um, not, we don't include drive-ins, but we, you know, I've included all of the theaters that uh, have existed throughout time here. There's about 52 uh, total that, not necessarily buildings, but theaters that have been renamed and, and re-owned by, by various members. Wow. Now, when did we get our first theater or stage? First entertainment uh, with with actors was in about 18, I may have to go back to the book to look at this, but it was in the, the mid 1800s and it was in a tent on Jefferson Street. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, um, I heard that um, they had entertainment down on Long Island. They did. They did. Uh, there, was, there were numerous theaters. Um, back in the, the early 1900s. Now, if, if people want to get your book, how do they do that? They can visit the Warner Historic Cascade Theater on South Mill Street. Okay. And give us some highlights of the book, if you don't mind. Not, 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 oh, sorry. yeah. The, the, um, the most significant part of the book is a, a detailed history on the time that the Warner Brothers spent 
here in Newcastle. They did, in fact, build their first theater here. It was uh, right at the historic Warner Cascade Theater Museum. They had uh, they used chairs that they rented from a local undertaker, and all of the details and um, the the timing of everything is included in the book. It's very detailed, and everything is footnoted with sources that were back in the day. So you can look it up, you can go to the newspapers, and you can find things that were happening and uh, the the source of the information. Well, I want to thank you for sharing with us here. And remember, it's stage and screen and available at the Warner Theater. And uh, thank you again. Very welcome. And if I could, I will just say that all of the proceeds from the sale of this book go to benefit the historic museum. That is great. Okay. Thank you so, so much. So please help us out. Yes, definitely. Keep watching NCTV 45, and maybe we'll get her in for a focus and see where she could sit at the desk and uh, give us a little more insight. Thanks. And uh, now, what a story. I, if you hadn't had a chance to stop by the Warner Theater and check out the book, check out the things going on, you know, the bridge may be closed, but you could still get back, park, and take a real enjoyable few seconds, maybe even stop by the pickle, get a sandwich and a nice beverage. Something a little different, a little more special about Newcastle, Lawrence County. Now we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after these messages. Butts Flowers and Gifts offers top quality flower arrangements and gifts for any occasion. The pros at Butts Flowers and Gifts provide exceptional customer service and each bouquet is hand arranged. Stop in and check out their wide selection of gift baskets and plants. They provide flower delivery service locally to Newcastle, Bessemer, Edinburgh, New Wilmington, West Pittsburgh and across the nation. It's Butts Flowers at 120 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. Call 724-652-7727 or toll free 1-800-443-7726. NC TV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Welcome back. And um, if that wasn't enough today, we also had the opportunity to attend the Newcastle Area School District's meeting tonight. Uh, and Pride and Promise was featured. And they talked about yes you have it the facility the indoor practice facility called the rack right up there at taggart stadium and uh, what a tremendous facility if you haven't had this chance to watch it now we had reported on everything going on with the rack earlier and we're going to go to that meeting right now. Additional funding provided opportunities for the football team, but can be used for any team, such as track and field, baseball, cross country, cheer, and even the rest of the club. Pat Mennonock, Floyd Masterin, Sean Novak, Jason Cheer, Bill Humphrey, Coach Tim Parrish, Roger Carbo, Coach Sumner, Harry Booker, and Patsy Choppa did more than what was asked of them and revitalized sports in Newcastle today. I feel the parents and coaches have done more than enough to deserve, to deserve this pride and promise. Great job. So when I call your name, if you would come up, we have a certificate for you. We have a t-shirt for you with your size that you get. This looks big. And um, pride and promise coffee mug that's filled with uh, some pretty good candy. So without uh, wasting any more time, Mr. Harry Booker, would you please come up here? Oh, 
pretty sure. I got to wait until you get another one. I want you to stay right here. Mr. Sean Campbell. <laughs> Mr. Patsy Java. <clears throat> Mr. Roger DeCarno. <clears throat> Mr. Bill Humphrey. Mr. Floyd Master. <laughs> Mr. Patman and Ock. Sean Novak. <laughs> Mr. David Paper. <laughs> with us the spirit. Mr. Tim Parrish. Mr. Jason Shearer. <clears throat> and last but not least, Mr. Rick Sumner. So stay where you are now, but we'll round you out. You know, in this, uh, I had this idea back in the football season, and I never envisioned just how much work it would take. But uh, so we still rocking that first wall in But I initially called a group meeting, and 26 men showed up. Well, you see, he was here. Ten minutes. And these guys were here before they went to work, after they came home from work, uh, in between their kids' games. Coach Humphrey's coaching. Uh, we got Jason Shear driving from Erie. You know, uh, just Sean Novak, Ronald Liberty Junior's dog, my brother-in-law, uh, coming from Pittsburgh. Everybody here sacrificed their time. When I was growing up, my father told me the most important thing you could ever give anybody is your time. And these gentlemen right here not only give their time, they give their hearts because they're givers. A lot of people in this community are takers. These guys right here are givers. I had to chuckle a little bit because last uh, fall, my little eight-year-old son Lucas received one of these awards. So he's walking around the house and he's saying, hey, uh, he's pretty excited about himself and he's telling everybody, hey, I'm the only one who just got these words. And I was like, well, <laughs> so now, when I go home tonight, myself and his uncle Sean, get to go home and tease a little bit, please see these words. <laughs> but no, Mark, uh, I can't thank you enough because from you guys, of the players showing us how much you appreciate this, that's all, that's all we want to do. You know, it means so much to us. And believe me, we had a lot of help from the players. Uh, loading those dumpsters up, and you don't know how many times the players had to come in and move all the equipment, tons of equipment, the power racks, all the weights, from one side of the room to the other, so guys like Sean Novak and Jason Shearer can come in and, um, and do their jobs, whatever, you know, all of us. So that was several times throughout the course of it. So it was truly a group effort, and uh, but I have to thank uh, the board, Mr. Sarandra, Mr. Anzini, because if if you guys would not have given us permission and ultimately the finances for the purchase that that uh, dirt, I mean, it would not be where it is today. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't been there, I'm pretty sure everybody has, and you haven't seen everybody work out, and we have 60 kids in there just about, and then the 40 junior high kids are coming in with Coach Chaka, there's 100 kids there at one time, that's electrifying. 
I mean, it's exciting. We have people walking off the streets and standing with big black doors, and they want, they want to hear what's going on, hear all that noise, and I'm hollering. And unless you've seen that many kids working out in that type of fashion, and uh, it's, it really is exceptional. And the kids are just enjoying it. They're showing up early. I mean, they're there before we get there, and then they're staying late. They don't want to leave. You know, so that's all we can hope for. They're, you know, I told the kids, you know, we can have the worst facility in the state. But as long as you show up and work hard, it doesn't make a difference where we're working at. But now we only have one of the best, if not the best, in the state. They're working, they're, they're, they're working so hard. They're just working their tails off. And it's, it's just a little bit of an exciting thing for us. And I truly believe that as more people get involved, because we have other plans, uh, we need little kids involved, you know, the elementary kids up there. We want everybody in the district to see this place. And I believe that the more parents we have involved, the more kids that are involved, it's just going to keep growing and creating more excitement. And uh, it's, I think the best, the best is yet to come there. Mark, thank you very much. Mr. Chancellor, thank you very much. And board, you. Thank you so much for allowing us. It's, 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 it's just going to really come true. And uh, we invite everybody to come to the Kingmaker Challenge. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a chance of rain and thunder showers. That's only 40% though. But you're going to see a partly sunny high of 78. Now, uh, just a great weather forecast. Get out and enjoy the sunshine this week as we start making our way towards summer vacation. Hey, uh, hang in there and we'll be right back. This was Four Brothers 45 Weather. We'll be back after these messages. RNA Screen Printing Newcastle is the place to go for signs, shirts, hats, vinyl lettering, embroidery, magnets, vehicle lettering, banners, window decals, and they can put your design on many items. They have decals for vehicles and signs for all your advertising needs. Great selection of sizes and styles of regular or glitter t-shirts. RNA can iron on a logo while you wait and can do any school logo. RNA Screen Printing, 1217 Moravia Street, Newcastle, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. Call 724-652-22. 41. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a new castle I try. The right small town for living. Look around. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Now, as we go to our uh, wrap here for the day, uh, I had the opportunity today at lunch, and it's always a splendid lunch, when you go to the Rotary meeting, great club, great individuals, and I enjoy very much talking with them. Felicity and Felicity, Felicia, excuse me if I say the last name, my check, and she is what a tremendous young lady. And uh, she's a social media coach. She is a motivational speaker. She also coaches track, and she's from the Ambridge area. And uh, what does she do? Well, exactly what we're doing here at NCTV 45. And uh, that's talking about the great things going on in this community. And we had a very pleasant chat. Felicia, I want to thank you for the time spent and uh, thank everybody at Rotary for um, looking into what Felicia does and uh, what we do here at NCTV 45. Now, uh, that's going to do it for this evening's report. I hope you have a pleasant, very pleasant evening. And uh, we'll return tomorrow with Thought for the Day and News Watch. Make sure that uh, before you go to bed, Get an extra cup of coffee. Use decaf so it doesn't keep you up. And tell a friend about NCTV45. We're available anytime on your time. Have a pleasant evening.